Hi, my name is Matt Patron and I am an Odella onboarding coach and today I'm going to be doing a video on Big Blue Button. Uh, Big Blue Button is the service that we use to teach our live classes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you here how to access Big Blue Button and use some of the exciting features in it uh, so you know how to participate in your live sessions. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pretend we're in one of your uh, course cards right now. And on the left hand side of the page and all of your course cards, you'll be able to see a button uh, in the navigation menu there called conferences. So I'm going to click on conferences. And what we're now going to see is a conference that I've been invited to. Uh, the conference here is called Big Blue Button Video Tutorial. And then notice beneath it, you see concluded conferences. Concluded conferences are conferences or live sessions that have already happened. And you can watch recordings of sessions right here. So that's pretty convenient. So back to the topic at hand, the Big Blue Button Video Tutorial. Uh, we are going to click on this button over here as a student your button will say join. My button says start because I'm the instructor and I'm doing the tutorial so it, I actually begin the session. But once I begin it, yours as a student again will say join. So let's go ahead and join this conference and I'm going to show you what happens when you do that. So we have to wait a couple minutes for things to load and then it's going to ask me if I want to join with my audio or if I want to listen only. Uh, I usually join with my audio so I can participate vocally in the class. And then it'll test it. You won't be able to hear the test here, but I'm going to allow my microphone to be used. So I can hear myself speaking in my headphones right now, and you'll be able to hear that in yours. And then I click yes, because I can hear myself. Okay, so I am the only person in this conference. Now, if there were students that were in this conference with me, you would be able to see them listed in this left hand panel here. Uh, since there again, there is nobody but me. Uh, I'm, you know, the only individual there. Um, now, if I wanted to send a chat message to the group or to my friends, all I would have to do is put my cursor in this box right here type my message and then I hit enter or I can hit the big blue button here and that will send my message to the group so we can chat about what the teacher is discussing. So that's a unique and handy feature there. Uh, one of the other features that I want to show you is how you raise your hand and how you change your status in the class so your teacher can see kind of what you're up to. Um, so if I click on my icon over here where it says users, it says set status. What I'm going to do is click on set status and you can see I can tell the teacher if I'm away. I can raise my hand. I can look undecided or confused if I'm not understanding the topic the teacher's discussing. I can show if I'm sad about that topic. I can show if I'm happy about that topic and I can applaud when I understand the topic or give a teacher a thumbs up telling uh, he or she that I'm ready to move on when they ask. So those are all good features to use to report to your teacher how you're feeling about the lesson and the content. Um, some of the other features that a teacher might use is they might ask uh, a question during the class and they might use a polling system. Uh, what that is, is if I start a poll here, um, they sometimes use these to gauge your understanding of a topic or you know, before a class ends is like an exit ticket. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just pose a question. Is the color red better than the color blue? Um, yes or no. So what I do is I start my poll. I make a yes or no question. And then as you answer that question, the teacher is able to see those results here. So um, the student would, you know, inform the teacher one way or another how well they're understanding the topic or an answer to that question. And then the teacher can actually publish those polling results, which is pretty handy. And you can kind of see how other students are feeling about the same topic. Um, 
So that is the polling feature. Another feature that I want to show you, and I want to add my uh, chat back here so you can just see what that looks like, um, is the whiteboard. So sometimes a teacher may use a whiteboard um, to allow students to do artwork or to solve problems or to express themselves in some way. Um, so I'm going to enable the whiteboard and what that does is it opens up a toolbar. You see this little toolbar over here on the side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this pencil tool and I can actually draw some nifty pictures. There we go. It's not very good, but that's okay. And I can change my colors. I can do math problems on the board and then students can actually answer those problems. Um, so you can see how this would be helpful in a classroom setting. One final thing that students typically do ask about when they are in the session is how do I leave? So up here at the top, you will see an options button. If I click options, Notice down here that it allows me to log out of the session or I can simply click the big X at the top uh, when the teacher has ended the class and you know simply log out there. So when I log out it looks like that and you can rate your experience then in the blue button. So hopefully you have found this big blue button tutorial helpful for you. Uh, we look forward to working with you this school year and look for more fun and exciting videos to come from me very soon. Thank you.